is Hamza Musa Makalipi and I have a story on the Kashimbila multi-purpose dam. This is one of the dominant issues in Nigeria's power sector. Well, let me quickly bring you up to speed by saying that this dam and associated infrastructure is now a reality. With diligent implementation of the contract by the Buhari administration, the odds on this contract have been overcome. community in the corridor of Kasanala River in southern Tarabo State. There are many like it whose hardworking people are aware is part of their daily lives. They have not forgotten the history of how the development of infrastructure around the river started some years ago and stopped at some point in time. The affairs have been cleared by the Buhari administration, which in its wisdom returned the contractor to site in keeping faith with the completion of outstanding critical projects and fulfilling expectations of the people. Ama gwenye timu Buhari yasa aiki na ala chiga barishi kumashisa aianzo muda muda ni kafishimu la muri gamu gama zaben Buhari. Muna bwode ma Buhari ende amana wana hanya daka bwode hanya muka samu zua wana wuli muka zona muna chini muna sha muna bwode masa. Ansa mo bank alwa ano sabada muda kangari miki dalili ndani yenda ni kama nangari. So mungu dia baba buari dia budi amana na dam dia. Dama ikatangulen dika gabade ya mungu dia musu. Under the new focus of addressing fundamental challenges in the area of infrastructure, President Buhari has gone to work to fulfill his campaign promises made to the people of Taraba State and by extension the larger community of Nigeria. The Kashimbila multi-purpose Bopa Dam was conceived in 2007 and work started in 2010. Science and concerned stakeholders have predicted that one day the structurally weak volcanic Lake Inyos, located upstream along the Cameroon line of volcanic activity, will break and the devastation will be uncontrollable. It is feared the environmental disaster would occur in several states of Taraba, Benue, Cross River, Kogi, Delta, and beyond, with effects on more than 6 million people. The dam was therefore principally conceived to address those challenges. But like many birds with one stone, there are other benefits of the dam for hydropower generation and irrigation. The initial design of 18 megawatts was upgraded to 40 megawatts. Each of the four turbines has production capacity to deliver 10 megawatts. is responding to commitments made to the people in stimulating economic growth and development. The transmission and other requirements to operate the 30 megawatt Gurara Phase 1 hydroelectric plant, the 40 megawatts Kashimbila hydroelectric plant, and the 215 megawatts Kaduna gas stroke LPG stroke diesel power plant will also be completed 
a landmark project, Mambila Hydroelectric Power Project, is at last taking off. This project has been on the drawing board for 40 years, but now the engineering, procurement, and construction contract for the 3,050 megawatts project has been agreed with a Chinese joint venture company with a financing commitment from the government of China. Completion is targeted for 2023. Infrastructure is the foundation for prosperity, really. Whether it is after the Great Depression in the 19, 19, 1920, infrastructure built the American nation out of depression and recession. Whether it was after the civil, the World War II, the Marshall Plan in Europe was infrastructure. Whether it was the ascent of the uh, Chinese empire today, the backbone is infrastructure. And so that's the foundation. It is an unfailing foundation. It is the most uh, dependable fortress against tomorrow's bad weather, tomorrow's oil prices going back and forth. Once you invest the way President Buhari is doing, that's what creates wealth. That's what secures the future. That is the foundation for wealth, for employment, for prosperity. From there, agro-processing will grow. From there, industry will come. And from there, it will not matter anymore what the price of oil is. People will get on with their lives. So this is the foundation. The prosperity is about to begin. In order to redress the funding gaps and other challenges affecting the actualization of the Kashimbila Dam project, the federal government, after deliberations by the Executive Council, approved the completion of outstanding works on the dam component. The sum of more than 46 billion naira was appropriated. This project has gone through three or four different reviews for various reasons, but this is the final review, and uh, we hope that uh, within the next 12 months the project will be completed 100%. The project also has a landing strip for uh, emergency evacuation uh, and also for access to the, to the dam site because it's in a very remote location in uh, Taraba State. So we got uh, an augmentation of 46.15 billion naira. That will be enough. Already out of this, probably about uh, 24 billion has already been spent uh, by the contractor. We have spent more money. There's done more work than the the, the actual augmentation, and uh, we hope that, uh, like I said, and we have received, actually received commitment from the contractor that uh, there will be no further review. Consequently, the dam and hydropower component is 100% completed since October 2017. The dam is also spilling according to specification as the turbines to deliver 40 megawatts to the national grid are also ready. Other benefits of the project include water supply to 400,000 people as part of integrated water resources management. Also, at the downstream, land for irrigation, 
is available. It is also envisaged to promote tourism and alleviate poverty while creating hundreds of jobs to the local economy. But you see, in the dynamics of power generation, it is not just enough to have a gigantic dam like this. Upon at times, projects are conceived without proper planning on how to transmit the power. But it is not so with Kashimbila multi-purpose dam. The power will reach the cities, the towns and villages. The power is ready, it's just the transmission line we're completing now. All the equipment is on site. So again, we were delayed by payments, by the budget, but our contractor is on site and uh, we're almost there. We in the Ministry of Power, we have that understanding with water resources that if any dam that is going to be you know, developed, no matter how small, let us tap the, resource, the water resources in it by also generating hydropower. So this Kashimbila is as a result of one of the collaboration and understanding with water resources. Then the ministry now, you know, finance, or I can say we became part of the project team. And now ministry also supported from our own side to develop, to give support for the hydropower to be developed. This is the switch yard of the Kashimbila multi-purpose dam. It is the first destination of the generated power from this dam 